Sometimes I think women must have some kind of superpower. A somewhat unique power which they use to dominate men and control them. And how do they do that? A snap of their fingers and the feelings come rushing back. For you, honey. Thank you. And one simple text message can throw your entire life into chaos. My mom's coming tomorrow. She decided to surprise us. Well, that's just perfect timing. Our place is such a mess. Looks clean to me. It's clean? Today, we're doing some spring cleaning. Oh, wow. And then after that, we pick a room for your mom. Hey, you have to move out. You understand. <clears throat> Be right back. Let's just uh, discuss that next time. It's just that I'm going to have a new chef at the restaurant. What are you saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Replacing Helena. Yeah. Well, you take care. Whoa! Chef Brother! I'm sorry, but I won't be able to sell you anymore. You're old and <laughs> long expired. <laughs> Okay, here's some money. Buy some groceries, get some flowers, and get her something sweet, all right? Yeah, okay, boss. Please don't tell my mom about Dennis, that he's staying with us and that he's here. They don't really get along. He's from my dad's first marriage and whatnot. All right. Did you sweep the hallway? Yep, already swept there. Now go. Uh -huh. Look. Even Rookie's wife gives him money. All I need is 300 bucks. That boat's getting away. Japanese motor, a speedboat. Why not just get it back from her? Tried that, got caught. Stop giving me money. Eh. Hey guys, you know if anyone's renting out a room. Do we look like realtors to you? Go on, get out of here. Sure, a room. What are you, stupid? The boat's getting away. Yeah, it really is. Hold on. I have a room, 300 bucks. It's in my apartment. That's a little steep. It's a good deal. You'd be staying with someone you know. I won't kick you out on the street at night. Won't kick you out at night. You will in the morning. <laughs> I'll think about it. Yeah, think it over. Don't take too long, though, because there's a long list of candidates. Yeah, a bunch of candidates. Uh-huh. And Maria? She'll be pissed and kick your ass. What did you say? Nothing. Who wears the <laughs> pants? She'll do exactly as I tell her. Well, she'll do exactly as I ask. Well, you know how I ask. I heard it with my own two ears. He wants Helena out. Hey, you two. I'm taking off for a couple of hours. Victor, please take care of the place. Well, it doesn't quite look like Miss Helen is planning on quitting. Keep your voice down, you idiot. Leo, you don't get it. She's not going to quit the restaurant. They want to quietly replace her. So we have to, we have to tell her about that. What's the point? You know what she's like. She'll just quit and that's it. And I really, really don't want her to quit now. She put these in a vase. She's not quitting, Leo. You understand me? Oh, hello, 
Victoria. Good to see you. Hello there, my dear. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. How was your trip? It was all Good. right. Come on in. I'll take that. Yes. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's okay. I'll pick it up. Hey, Vic. Yeah? You see what I'm wearing? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Uh, where did you buy that? Very funny, sweetie. Uh, you needed that yourself for her birthday, remember? <laughs> remember we mailed it to her? Yeah. And I never take it off. Uh-huh. Thank you so much. You were such a good girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah. need to wash my hands. Bathroom? Yeah, over there. there. <laughs> so what? Did I knit a scarf? Babe, you knitted a scarf, whatever. A birthday present from her daughter-in-law. We were going to give her a fondue set. Honey, she doesn't know what that is and how to use it. She thinks that it's just a bowl with some toothpicks. Here I am. <laughs> Listen, Mrs. Valentine. Yeah? You must be hungry after the long trip. Well, no, not uh -huh. really. Although, I wouldn't say no to your cooking. Yeah? Max has been raving about it, especially your soup. He even told me that you cook better than I do. <laughs> okay. I need to unload the bags. I brought some amazing gem for you. I'll get it. So now I'm a great cook? Uh, so what other lies did you tell about me? I swear I only meant well. Well, Mom was so happy to learn that her daughter-in-law can both cook and knit. Yeah, where are we gonna get that soup then? Mom. Yeah? How about going out for some burgers to celebrate your visit? Didn't you want to? Victoria doesn't mind, right, honey? <laughs> Maria, I wanted to talk with you. I'm not giving you money. <laughs> what money? It has nothing to do with that. I need to discuss something with you. Do you think a guy from work can stay with us for a bit? What? It's just that those kitchen cooks are so mean. They're heartless people. It's all about money for them. Only money, nothing but money, nothing else. The guy's grieving. He, he lost his whole family. They died in a plane crash. All, all of them, just like that. Can you imagine what he's going through? He's 30 years old and he's all alone. He started drinking. They took his apartment. He got robbed. Wow, that's horrible. That's right. That's what I mean. Why don't we help him out? He's not going to stay very long. He says, it's no problem. I can even pay you. At least a small amount of money. $70 or so. Arthur, we'll let him stay for free. He's suffering a tragedy. Well, $70 isn't a lot. We could, like, pay the bills with... Arthur, he can stay here for free. He can stay for free. The thing is, buddy, it's now 350. The wife didn't agree to 300. Okay. There. Well, here's the kitchen for you. There's the storage room. Uh, there is an office and locker rooms, shower rooms, and the employee bathroom. What else can I show you? I don't know. I don't really have any questions. We would have to work on the menu, and to be honest, we would have to change a lot. Well, of course, you are, as they say, calling the shots here. Hmm. Leo, where's Helena? She just left. Mr. Nicholas sent her someplace, and she'll be back in an hour. You see that? That ugly bastard is your new head chef. <laughs> Chef Victor, listen, maybe we should... Leo, don't start. We can just explain to him that he shouldn't work here. We're gonna stay civilized. Come on, come on. Excuse me, sir, can you... Let me. <clears throat> For the psychological damage. Get over here. Uh, what are you doing? Get your hands off! Shut up and you listen to me! You are not gonna work in this restaurant, you got me? And if we see you around here, that guy over there, he'll break your nose. You will, right? There! And if you ever tell a single soul about the two of us, that gangly fella's gonna kick your damn teeth in. You'll be speaking with a lisp for the rest of your life, got it? Oh my god. You sit back down. Leo, take a seat too. Right now, right now, right now! Right now! Uh, hello, Miss Helena. Uh, 
Why did you leave and abandon us like that? We really cannot manage without Come you. Come on, don't be modest. You can manage. If you couldn't manage, you'd be running around the kitchen. And you, as I see, got changed. And I am here to welcome you back and have a talk. You know, I want to have a talk with you, too. Maybe we could set aside some time to talk. How do you feel about having dinner with me tomorrow at our restaurant? The two of us? Yeah. Yes, of course, with pleasure. Are you coming? No, no, I'd like to get some of that fresh air. Leo, hey, guess what? Miss Helena just asked me out on a date. Are you still here? It's because he's in my car. Oh, right. Leo, get out. What are you sitting for? You see, the man has to get a move on and replace the glass. Now drive, drive, drive! Cute. Ah. Look at that cat. Look, I look so sad in this one. That's the photo with a bunny. Matt's not scared of the flash. He wet his pants. <laughs> Mom. Listen, something caught on the scarf, and I have a loose thread. Could you mend it? M mend it? But I don't have my needles here. Yeah. I left them at work. Use mine. Let me get them. It's just a few loose threads. I would do it myself, but I left my glasses at home. What are we supposed to do now? It's fine, just a few threads. You went to college, we can figure it out. Right. Hmm. How to mend a knitted scarf. Look up how to stop lying. Look, there's a video tutorial. Max? Max, please help me. The zipper got stuck. Coming, Mom. Hold this. Max! You've ruined it completely. Tomorrow we can find someone at work to do the scarf for you, and you can tell Mom that you have a headache. What the hell? I'm not gonna keep on lying. Tomorrow. Found them. Oh, what happened? Oh, my head's pounding. She gets migraines. It happens sometimes because of the accident. What accident? What happened? Mom, it's a long story. I'll tell you one day. The important thing is, everyone is safe and sound right now. Mm. Now lie down, get some rest, and everything's fine, Mom. Nick, stop it! Get away! <laughs> Are you serious? Then <laughs> what? <laughs> he doesn't actually look like he's grieving. He's suspiciously cheerful. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right, take care, bye. Maria, you stop picking on the guy. He's stressed out. Laughter is a coping mechanism. Hey, Arthur. Yeah? Do you want to watch a movie tonight? Turbulence Part 2 has seen the trailer? It's about a plane that crashes in the mountains. Nah, I'll pass. Maybe next time. Maria? It's even worse than I thought. He's completely lost his mind. I'm afraid he might even hurt himself. And I'm begging you, please, look after him, all right? Sure, no problem. Thank you. And he's so young. Dennis, are you going for a walk? I'm going to visit Max. He's my brother. He's going to the cemetery. So the order is a carbonara, two ribeyes medium well, California unagi rolls. Heard? Yes, sure. Sure. Table five, onion soup, and... Leo, can I have a quick word? Chef Victor, I'm working here. Where's that rack of lamb? Two plates. Leo, it's urgent. We have one minute. <laughs> Leo, which shirt should I wear? I kind of think this one is too bright, and this one's kind of plain, right? Chef Victor, I'm... Uh, I'm working. Make a shirt and get back to work. Well, I like this one. Thanks, Leo. I've always relied on your sense of style. I'm wearing this one then. Now get back to work. <laughs> hey, Nira. Say, do you knit? What do you want me to knit? Oh my! What about the knitting needles? No, I can't knit. Oh! 
Oh, Mama. I told you we'd figure it out. So what's going on? Louis, where is the dessert for table seven? Right away, Chef. Hey, Max, don't just stand there. Think of something. You're going to lie again? Honey, I promise you it's the last time, okay? Everything's all right. <laughs> Are you kidding or what? Sorry to bother you. Maria, what's wrong? Where's Arthur? Arthur? He's in the bathroom. I'd like to chat with you. <sighs> mm, I want to help you out. Help me with what? Mm, well, you should know that you're not alone, that we're here for you. I don't need your help. Don't be so worried. Arthur and I, we can help you start a new life, and I promise you, things are going to get better. Hold on a sec. Are you one of those... swingers? When we were discussing the conditions, Arthur never mentioned that. Are you stupid or what? If these are the conditions, then I refuse to rent your room. You're indeed a beautiful woman, but... Shh. Hey, Arthur! And in that boat, the three of us... I'm here, my queen. Is he renting out the room? No, he's just living here. <laughs> sure, just living. For 350? Dennis? Um, I can explain everything. Have a good night. I'm explaining already. Hmm. Romeo. What's wrong, Romeo? I haven't heard from you. Why aren't you calling me back? You know, I can't work with you any longer. No, hold on a second. We've talked everything through. We agreed on the main colors, the style. I can certainly find another designer, but that's not how things are done. I need more time to finish my previous project. Excuse me, someone's asking for you. Who? Oh. I'm sorry, it'll be a second. So you didn't get the message. All righty, we can do this another way. Do you have a minute? Um, it's not what you think, I just... Get over here! Scumbag's refusing to pay his bill, you see? Now go! What's wrong with you? Was I not being clear? You cannot ever work it! Get that through your head! But I'm not going to. Okay, Mr. Victor, what's going on? I should be asking you that question. What's going on here? How could you possibly fire Helena? She's the one that got the restaurant off the ground, poured her heart and soul into the place. I can't let you replace her with some stupid bald-headed asshole. Will you please stop freaking out? Just calm down. Listen to me. Nobody's firing Chef Helena. She's just quitting. As a matter of fact, I was thinking you could take her place. And by the way, she insisted on making you head chef. She vouched for you. You understand that? Um. And as for this young man, he's not an asshole, as you rudely put it. He's our designer. What's going on here? Huh? Oh, oh. Helen, why didn't you say you were leaving? It's just that I was going to tell you about that tonight. I couldn't earlier. Right. Just so you know, you now have to find me a new designer, Victor. And... We have the same ones in my hometown. Hello, I'm home. Uh, hey there. Hey there. Honey? Yeah? This scarf you knitted for mom, you left it at work. <laughs> uh, it's okay, I brought it. Uh, mom, my wife knitted a new scarf for you. Your old one has completely fallen apart. Uh, thank you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Gosh, this is so gorgeous. No problem for Victoria. She's such a fast knitter. That's a lie. It takes me a lot of time to knit. Oh my god, you're a craftswoman. Mm. Your works really should be exhibited. You've got hands of gold. Oh, what's this? Right, what is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom? 
Mom, I'm sorry. It just sort of happened. It's just that... I'll get that. Goddamn idiot. Hello there. Max home. Yeah, come on in. Hey, Mrs. Valentine. Max's brother is here. Dropped by to say hello. Oh, <laughs> nice to see you. Good to see you, ma'am. He's not his brother. He's a childhood friend. They basically grew up together. Oh, Dennis, how manly you are. Childhood friend of yours? Babe, he's really like a brother to me. You've been lying to me this whole time? Um, I... I'm gonna put the kettle on. Honey, I'm sorry. It turned out this way. Come on, you can stay with me for some time. I don't know. What about Victoria? What you gonna say, bro? I'll say that you're my brother. <laughs> It'll be fine. We're brothers. Thanks, man. It's just that if I hadn't lied, you would have kicked him out. I don't want to listen to you anymore. You just disgust me. Why did you decide to leave? I thought that we were going to start all over. But we tried that once already. We we're just way too different. I need to leave. I don't want to torment either you or myself. I can't use it anymore. It's getting dark, too dark to see. People are probably the most merciless creatures on the planet. Only a person would abandon someone that they so desperately want to keep. The word homo sapien means wise man. What instincts are driving us? What's making us tell lies, get jealous and betray? People are the only ones that hurt those they love. And as it usually goes, the stronger the love is, the more it hurts. Maybe it's too soon to call ourselves the crown of nature.